I like free parts. Everybody likes free parts. This is the left rear chrome corner piece for the Tundra. And I actually ended up getting it for free. Now, it'll actually probably end up paying me when it's all said and done. How does that work? And is it even worth it? Well, let me tell you. When I first got the truck, the left rear corner had a ding in it. Not a big one, but enough to annoy me. So I started shopping around. People sell these chrome ones all the time because they want the color matched ones. You can buy them at Toyota, but they're plastic. They have to be painted, kind of a nightmare. So these are all over the internet for sale. I found one online across the country. The guy said, hey man, look, no problem. I'll send it to you for free. All you gotta do is pay for shipping. I don't want any money for the part. He takes it to the post office. They want $90 to ship it. This thing right here, yeah, it's big and it's bulky. $90 to ship it across the country. So I said, never mind, man, I'll look for the one locally. Found one online. The guy had front and rear four corner pieces for a truck. They were wrapped in white and they needed to be redone. I didn't care. I just needed the chrome one. So he also had the front bumper and he did not want any of the stuff in the garage anymore. So he said, give me a hundred bucks for everything. You're local, come pick it up. So I did. I drove up there, it was like 20, 30 minutes away. I got all the pieces for a hundred bucks. And I figured, how can I go wrong? Well, sometimes free parts are not worth it at all. From Toyota, this part, I don't know, is maybe 200 bucks, I'm guessing. So I spent a hundred bucks on all four plus a front bumper. Now, time is money. I don't know what your guys' time is worth. I'm pretty cheap, so mine's not worth that much, but I put these, I put them online, listed them because I knew some other people were looking for them as well. Cause when I posted a wanted uh, classified, the guys, some other guys came up and said, Hey, if you find both of them, I want the right one. So no problem. I found a guy who wanted the right one. Now he's out of state as well. I take it to the UPS. I have them measure it. I have them weigh it. To my surprise, hey, 80 to $90 to send it across the few states. It's a big piece. It's an awkward piece and it's a heavy piece. So I tell the guy, look, man, I don't want a whole lot of money for the part. Give me 50 bucks for the part and pay for shipping. He agrees to it. So right now the thing is wrapped up in this contraption of a box. The boxes to fit these things are huge. So I spend, I don't know, a couple hours here and there, cutting up a couple boxes, wrapping it with a bunch of tape. It's out of shape, it's out of whack. The UPS boxes were expensive and huge, so they were gonna charge extra money because they charge basically per inch and per pound when they're this big. So I have a couple days into wrapping up a $50 part. Well, I get, I finally get it sold. The guy wants it. He's gonna pay shipping plus 50 bucks. Cool. I will make half my money back. Now I have this huge bumper in my garage and a bunch of other corner pieces. I have a one car garage. There's no room for this stuff. So a guy messages me on Facebook. Hey, I want the bumper. I said, cool, 50 bucks. And you go back and forth trying to figure out when and where to meet them. Me and my wife and son were gonna go play at an indoor gym because it's raining and he wants to meet us. He's coming from an hour and a half away for the front bumper. And he says, look, I only need the core support. I go, no, you gotta take everything. I'll give you 50 bucks. You give me 50 bucks for everything and it's yours. You gotta take it. I don't want this stuff in my garage. I'm dealing with the same thing the last guy I dealt with. So we finally rendezvous, gotta find him in the parking lot. We gotta drop the kid, kid off with the wife. Gotta load it in his car, gotta meet him. You gotta chit chat for a little bit. So there we go. I got my hundred bucks back. 50 bucks for the bumper, 50 bucks for the corner piece. And I got my part for free. And then I still have the two front corner pieces to sell. 
but I gotta realize, is it really worth it? Sometimes you get free parts or you think you'll buy it and you'll sell it, you'll make a profit, but is it really worth it? I spent, I don't know, hours, four, five, six hours hunting down boxes and wrapping it and finding tape and losing the tape gun and going back and forth to the post office and the UPS and you know, at some point of diminishing return, you have to realize, is it really worth it? A free part? Or could I just spend 100 bucks, 200 bucks online, have it shipped to my house, perfect brand new condition? So you know what, you gotta, you gotta think about this. It's something that you have to decide, it's a personal opinion. For me, I am cheap. I do not like spending extra money on extra parts. If I can make an extra 50 or 100 bucks back by doing a little extra legwork, I'll do it. My wife thinks my wife thinks I'm crazy. She says, "Buy the part new. Every time you go this route, every single time you do it, you end up getting mad, getting something broken, getting something that needs reconditioned. You're never happy. So just do it." I still haven't learned my lesson. So, end rant. If you think it's worth it and your time is worth, I don't know, what does that equate to? 10, 15 bucks an hour? Um, that's up to you, that's your call. Time is money, so remember, free parts sometimes end up costing you more money than if you would have just bought it outright in the beginning. Time is money. Well, thanks for watching. I'll do some more videos. I got the Subaru coming back together. I got extra parts for that. We're gonna put that together. Uh, some more videos on the Tundra if you're interested. I'm gonna do some uh, swapping of the parts, the chrome pieces, wrapping them, and uh, just kind of reconditioning it and getting it back to uh, its original state. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you soon.